Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward by showing you how to make one of these super pretty summer head scarves or bandanas. As you can see here, I have three colors, black, probably mustard, and fuchsia. And I, I, I have them all with beads and you can put the beads on in any variety or order that you prefer but this is just a super fun project i cannot stop making these and it's so easy and i'm so glad to share it with you the materials you'll need are some beads a large sewing needle your crochet hook and some scissors so let's get going okay so we're ready to start um our scarf our cute little bead scarf I'm going to show you how to do the child version, which is smaller, and it's 15 rows um, plus a row of double crochet. Um, and then if you wanted to make an adult version, I generally go 18 to 19 rows and then add that row of double crochet. So it's totally up to you, but for this video, we're just going to do the child version. And we're going to start doing a big triangle. We're going to start right here, and we're going to go back and forth with sets of with the granny stitch which is a set of three double crochets we're not going to space one um, I find that the work is neater uh, when I don't uh, chain one or chain two um, and that that's how this pattern is designed so get your needle your uh, not your needle I'm sorry your crochet hook and your yarn get a slip knot and let's get started we're going to start with a chain of four, one, two, three, four, and in the second chain from your hook, we're going to single crochet. Now we're going to go back to our first chain and do two double crochets. It's going to look odd at first, but um, it does form into a triangle. And this is, um, for straighter edges something that I started incorporating and I have a video on my YouTube channel and I call it my own hassle free chain three so which consists of chain one two three turn your work and then we're going to do exactly what we did to begin and go to the second chain from your hook and single crochet and what this does is it creates the double loop that you work your stitches in um, which is also known as the V so when we get back here to that particular uh, double crochet it's gonna make for straighter edges edges I'm sorry and um, and you're not gonna have a hassle on trying to do that sometimes when you do the chain two or three um, there's a sometimes we chain too tight sometimes we chain too loose and then there's a gap and this just prevents all that so once you've done that we're going to go back here to the first chain I mean uh, the first double crochet to the top and do two more double crochets we're going to go over here where we did our single crochet at the top of that um, chain three and then put three double crochets We're going to chain three, turn our work. Sometimes I use my middle finger to turn this second chain so I can get in there and do that single crochet for that straight edge. We're going to work two double crochets in that same stitch. In this space, we're going to work three double crochets. And then in this stitch right here where we did that single crochet we're going to work our last three double crochet so on each side you're going to do three double crochets and then in the spaces in between you will be working three double crochets it's just like the granny um the granny square stitch and we're going to go forward so 
um, go ahead and do your uh, 15 rows and I will meet you back here okay so we've already finished our 15 rows and the next thing we're going to do is a row of single crochet all the way across and I'm going to show you how to do that on this smaller version of the scarf and it's basically the same thing um, on the edging you're going to chain three turn your work and do that single crochet in that second chain from the hook and then again in all of these chains I'm sorry at the top of all of these double crochets all the way across and I'll meet you back here okay so um, we're finished with our row of double crochet for the top of the scarf and now um, for your child version you will need to chain 26 and if you're doing the adult version you'll need to chain 31 but I've chained five because again I'm showing you on this little piece for the purpose of the video um, and at the end of year 26 you're going to come back and you're going to single crochet all the way across till you get to the uh, double crochet row and that's just making the tie a little bit sturdier and then once you get back here to your double crochet row you're going to single crochet all the way on the this edge and get to this tip where we started and we're going to single crochet all the way back here and you're going to go ahead and single crochet your tail end right here um, until it's gone you're going to get here to your double crochet row at the other end and chain 26 and then go back and single crochet all the way back here for the second um, tie or strap and then end your scarf with a single crochet all the way back here so I'll meet you back here so we can do the beads okay so we are ready to do the final piece to this beautiful little cute summer scarf so it's time to put the beads on so we've already did our single crochet row all the way around and I want to show you where we're going to actually put the beads so it's going to be right here in this kind of dotted line right here and we're going to weave inside and out with the beads so what I've done is I've threaded my needle and I've simply just tied a knot in that row it's right at the bottom of the double crochet row so we're going to get our beads um, you can put these beads on in any color you want and then we're going to start weaving so every time you pull up you're going to go into that next hole you're going to grab a bead and you just pull that through go into the next hole weave back up and put another bead I like to use the rainbow color sequence sometimes and then sometimes I just do them randomly I've, I've made quite a few of these and that's it in and out and just remember so that they'll all be spaced even you're not putting another bead in because you just did and so the next the next stitch or the next hole there you're pulling up you immediately put a bead on Oops, that one kind of, kind of got stuck. And that way they're all evenly spaced out. You don't have to do it super tight because you don't want it bunched up. Um, but you do that all the way across the row to get back here. And then you simply tie another knot and then weave in your end, ends and you'll be done. And I want to show you this finished version, um, black one that I did um, that I um, wear all the time. And I wear it upside down. Sometimes I wear it straight and just tie it in the front or you tie it in the back. But it's really versatile and it goes with anything. And it's just a nice little summer scarf and it looks so cute on little kids. And it also looks good on grown folks like me and you. So enjoy. Um, thank you for watching and remember to crochet it forward. Thank you.